what is up guys welcome back to my channel now I'm really really pumped for this video because I'm gonna be doing a brand new series I don't know if we're gonna go 30 days or 60 days or 100 days but my goal is to definitely do a 30 days minimum and what I'm doing is I'm starting a brand new account and I'm walking you through the steps that I'm taking to have this account absolutely rocking the game in 30 days so I'll have some goals that I'll I'll share over the next couple of videos that we're shooting for, but basically I just want to set you up for success with your account. Now, as we're starting, I'm kind of skipping over the intro, but I wanted you to see that I actually am setting up a, a brand new account, uh, but I'm skipping through the tutorial stuff where you don't really have a choice. So <laughs> right now, the game is basically uh, forcing us to go through a bunch of dialogue, click a bunch of buttons. We don't really... We don't really have a choice uh, to do anything except what they tell us to. So a couple of big goals that we have for this is to be able to clear Giants B10, to be able to clear Dragons B10, uh, to have some couple of six star monsters working for us, um, and to be able to clear the Trial of Ascension in under two months, at least on normal. Uh, it'll depend on our luck with the Nat 5s where we go from there. The other thing that I'm really excited about for this account is that my other account where I do some of my videos from is totally pay to play. So I, I pay to play on that. I spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month, uh, if not more. Don't worry. I have a decent job. This is just my passion. I have a lot of other hobbies. So rather than investing my money in other hobbies, I, uh, I, I spend it on uh, Summoner's War. So we're going to get into this, but I just wanted to outline, you know, our big goals are to get through dungeons, get through uh, uh, Giant's Dungeon, Dragon's Dungeon, Trial of Ascension, and then of course to clear the scenarios. So over the next several weeks, I'll be uploading a video each day from this new account. I'll be recording a video and kind of walking you through it. So uh, if you want to get the full story on this, you wanna make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment below, let me know what you'd like to see over the next 30 to 60 days, um, but definitely make sure to subscribe, that does help us get this out there, uh, and it makes sure that you don't miss an episode. So we're kinda wrapping up the first part of the tutorial, and this is all kind of what you're forced to do. You've gotta clear this uh, first round, uh, the forest, and so I just am kind of running at uh, 3x speed right now just to kind of show you how that forest works. So by default, you're going to start with these three monsters, the Water Fairy, uh, the Fire Hellhound, and the Wind Guy, whose name I'm going to space on right now. <laughs> so um, I'm clearing the forest, and then once we clear the forest, uh, it's going to slow down a little bit here, and we can start talking about what we're doing in the game. So I'm clearing the forest, which is basically your first thing that you're going to do. You want to get through Garen Forest, and uh, oh, man, I <laughs> I really think you can just kind of bust through this first level. You don't really have to do much grinding or training, um, but you do want to get through that first level. And once you get through that first level, you're going to have to go through some dialogue from Lycana. Uh, you know, I personally don't love the dialogue, <laughs> I kind of skipped through it. You'll see in this tutorial, I skipped through it pretty quick. Um, but what we do is we unlock the Light Elven Ranger. And the Light Elven Ranger that we just unlocked is gonna become a staple on your early teams because he's a high damage dealer. Um, and we do need a damage dealer to kind of make progress. Now, if you're really invested in this, you could buy the starter packs. Uh, I was reading to see if I wanted one, but decided not to, I'm gonna keep this account free to play. That's gonna be one of my personal challenges. And uh, we've got the Light Elven Ranger. And so the other thing that I wanna mention is during this tutorial, anytime that we finish a challenge, uh, you'll see when we're on that main screen in just a second here, that anytime I finish a challenge, you'll have that little pop-up in the bottom right. It'll give you a little notification. You wanna collect because you're gonna be able to collect energy, you're gonna be able to collect mana, um, and when you're just getting started in the game, you kind of want to be able to uh, collect everything that you can. Now, once you beat the first level, the arena portal is going to open up. And I'm honestly not going to do a whole lot with arena until later in the game. Um, however, Greedy enters the arena, and I know that if I beat Greedy in the arena, that I'm going to get a couple of things. I'm going to get some glory points, and I'm also going to get some crystals. Now, crystals 
are essential in this game. They're what you use to refill your energy. They're what you're going to use to get monsters if you get impatient. Um, but I'm going to beat Greedy because I know that that's going to unlock a challenge for me and give me more mana. So early on in the game, you don't have to pay close attention to the dialogue, but you do want to pay close attention to the notifications around the dialogue that comes up and what you're going to be doing with those. So we're in the arena. I'm not going to explain the arena too much right now other than to say, hey, when you can fight the battles in the arena, the NPCs, the non-player characters, you want to go in and you want to get your crystals and you want to get your glory points. Now, you don't have to do much grinding to win. As you continue to progress in the game, they will get progressively harder. Uh, but at this point in the game, you don't have to do a lot, a lot, a lot of grinding um, to be able to complete the, the things that are getting started. So Again, I'm kind of moving through this game at a little bit of a quicker pace because the first day I spent about an hour and a half. So I do want to lay that expectation that day one, you want to spend an hour and a half on the, ga the, the, the game. And then on day two, you're going to spend a little more time. So follow the directions. I'm placing my arena defense uh, because I was instructed to do so by the game. And then once I do that... I'm going to build the arcane tower that was suggested to me in the game. So I know that I'm kind of breezing through some of the intro, but again, if you follow the prompts in the game and you basically do what you're told, <laughs> you're going to uh, have to do a lot of these things. So every time that I do this, I complete a challenge. You can see in the bottom right there, we complete that challenge. So I go into the challenge, I collect my rewards, and that's going to give us experience and mana which we're going to need to kind of progress in this game at the pace that I personally want to progress. So once you finish the Garen Forest, you're going to move to Mount Sis. And Mount Sis is really, really valuable um, because you're going to get the Water Magic Knight when you complete it. So it's really, really important that you uh, get the Water Magic Knight in place. A-S-A-P. Now we're going to talk in some of the next videos about why the Water Magic Knight is like the monster to have and the monster to level up. Um, but for right now, what I'm doing is anything that I can to level up that element ranger, I'm going to use. Now, over the next couple of videos, I'm going to talk about two and three star monsters that you might summon. And if, as I summon two and three star monsters that I want to keep, uh, I will. Good rule of thumb for right now is anything that's a three star monster you want to keep, anything that's a two star monster that's gold, you might want to hold on to unless you kind of know what you're doing. And I'll talk to you about some of the two star monsters that I acquire uh, and keep. So what you're watching right now is that I'm basically just breezing through Mount Sis. Um, I don't think you want to sit here while I fight each level at regular speed. So I've just sped up this little clip here to kind of show you that I'm breezing through Mount Sis and I'm starting to equip Fatal Runes to my Light Elven Ranger. And the reason that I'm doing that is my Light Elven Ranger is a damage dealer and the Fatal Rune Rune set is gonna give you a bonus of damage and our attack. And we really wanna get our attack up on our Elven Ranger. Now over time, we're gonna kind of build a staple team of a healer, a damage dealer, uh, a secondary damage dealer, and the water knight who we're going to obtain in a few seconds here so i'm just kind of going through this again at this point you really don't need to grind levels over and over to level up you're pretty much with this team comp that i've got right here going to be able to get through mount sis without any problems um, it's just gonna be a little slower than if you had grinded the forest to kind of level everybody up um, but but you know i don't really recommend that you do that i recommend that you just continue to progress forward in the game so I'm defeating Mount Sis, and one thing that I want you to know is that I'm on the lookout for a couple of two-star monsters, um, and one of those is going to be Konamiya. And uh, you'll see in a few seconds here, I'm actually going to summon Konamiya, and he is a, a healer and a cleanser, and we'll talk about what that means later. But basically, all I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm following the tutorial, I'm clearing the scenarios, and I'm doing it in a way uh, that levels up my monsters. So... This guy in the back here, the uh, the wind monster, I'm not going to keep him, so I'm not bothering to rune him or do too much with him because I'm going to replace him with the water magic knight that I get at the end of this uh, scenario levels. And to me, the water magic knight is going to become the staple of our team. So what I'm doing now is I'm just grinding. 
I'm leveling up, and I'm also collecting Unknown Scrolls. Unknown Scrolls give you one, two, and three star monsters. Most of the time you're gonna get one star, some of the time you're gonna get two star, uh, and then rarely you're gonna get a three star monster from your Unknown Scrolls. Now, <laughs> in this game, there's five level or five star levels of monsters that you can summon. One star, two star, three star, four star, five star. Uh, and, and that's their natural state, their default, right? And so we want to get nat fives in this game, but there are plenty of uh, powerful two and three star monsters. So you can see we just summoned the water Garuda, uh, which is the uh, Konamiya. And so I, anytime I summon a monster that I want, I lock him into place. So I just summoned uh, Konamiya and he's a pretty powerful monster. Uh, and so I'm finishing out Mount Sis. I'm gonna slow this video down here for a second just to walk you through a couple of things. Um, but I finished Mount Sis and I got Konamiya, which is really powerful. And now I've got the Magic Knight. So my next step is I'm gonna go through the dialogue here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through all the uh, unknown scrolls that I just got here. I'm gonna summon them, and then I'm gonna use whatever's left to basically level up my Water Magic Knight. So uh, let's go through all of our notifications. I'm also gonna build a magic shop here because uh, Aaliyah is like, build your magic shop. So again, as tutorial things come up, I'm gonna follow them. Um, the magic shop is really useful because you can buy unknown scrolls from them, which allow you to get more monsters. Uh, so very useful. So I'm going to summon that unknown scroll, uh, nothing too worthwhile. And then I'm going to go into my inventory and grab that water magic knight. Now the water magic knight and the light Garuda are our first two and three star monsters that we obtain from the game. And the water magic knight is going to become a staple to our team. So I'm taking all of my one and two stars, unless it's a water Garuda or something that I'm going to want later and I'm going to give them to the Water Magic Knight. Now I'm also going to engrave some Fatal Blades, in, or some Fatal Runes onto the uh, Water Magic Knight because I really want to up her uh, attack. She's going to be like our main attack monster, and she's got a couple of skills, and it'll, you'll see here in a second. Her third skill that she just used, it does damage, but it also heals her. So it does damage to every monster and it heals part of her. So if I can get her damage really high, uh, I can create higher survivability because her third skill will heal her more based on the damage that she does. So what I'm doing right now is I basically uh, went back to where I was and I'm just grinding to kind of level up my Water Magic Knight along with obtaining some more uh, fatal runes. So when I get Unknown Scrolls, I go summon them. And uh, one thing that I want you to note is that during this, this uh, recording, there's events going on. In that right-hand corner, you see that little thing that says event. If you've got events going on, you want to do them. Um, and how the events work will make more sense. I won't spend a ton of time explaining events in this first video, um, but basically uh, the game has events where doing certain things in the game or playing the game leads to you uh, getting extra items. So. I just, uh, I just want you to know that using the events is going to be to your benefit, and we are going to use some of the events. So the other thing I did is I just built a Temple of Wishes, which is just a daily like little lottery that you play, where you get mana stones, crystals, monsters, scrolls, things like that. So again, anytime Aaliyah pops up and says, make a building, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so uh, I just put four Fatal Runes on uh, the Water Knight. And I did that because I want to up her attack. I'm going to get better Fatal Runes here soon, and I'll use those instead. Uh, but I wanted to get Fatal Runes on the Water Magic Knight as soon as possible because she is going to be a really good damage dealer. So we've got that. And now what I'm doing is I am, uh, I'm just grinding the first level to get some energy on my first guy along with picking up some energy runes that I want to put on my water magic knight. So 
Once you get your water magic knight, I recommend going back to the first or the second level, depending on uh, which runes you want, or the first or second scenario, and just kind of grinding to get some experience, because you do want your water magic knight to be pretty strong uh, as we continue into this game. The water magic knight is going to be our first five or six star monster uh, for the game, because in free to play, she's going to be a staple for a lot of the stuff that we end up doing. So right now, I'm just kind of going through, I'm grinding up this level. You know, nothing too exciting or fancy, uh, but definitely worth the time to do. The other thing that I, I want to mention is that I'm just kind of breezing through the beginning because all I'm really doing is following the tutorial. And so in the other videos, I'll slow it down a little. They might be a little longer. We might kind of cut some stuff in and out. Um, but I really wanted to show you in this first video us building up from the start. So I just got a bunch of monsters that I'm going to use to level up the Magic Knight some more. And I'm going to go check into what energy runes we have. And uh, I'm going to give her some speed in the first slot. And the way that speed works in this game is basically the, the faster your monster is, the more the, the faster, if they're faster than the enemy, they'll go first. And so I want to try to make it so that my Water Knight's going to go before the enemy team more often. So I'm going to take a slot one energy rune with speed, and I'm going to speed it up. So for the Water Knight, I recommend a Rune Fatal Set and an Energy Set, which is going to give you uh, uh, a boost in your HP and a boost in your attack. And then I like Speed in the first slot. I would like a better Speed Rune, but this one will do for now. I'm just going to bring it up to level 9, and uh, that'll give us plus 10 Speed, which makes us a little bit faster. And then I'm also going to level up anything I have on the Magic Knight that increases her attack. So I'm going into the, the Rune Power Up menu and I'm just increasing the attack of my water magic knight because I know the higher the attack the more efficient she's going to be. So I'm giving her lots of attack, I'm trying to give her some speed and as the game progresses we'll get her way better runes and because there's events going on because I'm doing the tutorial I've got lots of mana so I'm not really worried about spending it on leveling up these runes. So you can see I'm going in and I'm basically choosing anything that has to do with speed and attack and I'm increasing it. And then I go into the challenge, I collect anything that's happened, and we go from there. So now what we're going to do next is I'm going to go into the caber runes and I'm going to start to clear them. So I'm going to blast through this real quick. I won't make you sit here. Because I grinded the forest, I'm kind of strong enough to take these monsters out. So we're just going to blast through a couple of levels here, pick up a couple of runes, nothing fancy. But you'll notice that I got rid of the uh, the wind monster that we had, and I'm running uh, the light elven ranger, the water magic knight, the water fairy, and the fire hellhound. This is going to be my main team comp for a while until I start acquiring three, mon three star monsters or two star monsters that I really want to work with. Okay. So... At this point in the game, you're going to unlock the challenges for Monster Training 101. And part of your first day, you really want to do whatever these say. So the first thing it says is to equip a Fatal Set of Runes to your monsters. Now, I already equipped a Fatal Set to the Water Magic Knight, but I'm also going to equip a Fatal Set to the Light Elven Ranger because he's a good single target damage dealer. And so what I'm basically doing now is I'm going back to uh, Mount Sis and I'm just going to collect some Fatal Runes. So let's kind of pause here for a second uh, and just take a second to kind of see me collecting some runes. Nothing really special happening, um, but I'm going to blast through this next part of the video until we pick up some runes to assign to the Fire Elven Ranger. Okay, so I'm just blasting through and when I get un unknown scrolls I uh, grab them I did just get a water hellhound I just want to note a water hellhound is a really useful monster when we get to the dungeons so hold on to any water hellhounds that you get especially if you get two you really want to hold two of them in place so just rocking through the dungeon got some more unknown scrolls gonna summon those gonna level up my water magic knight with anything that I get uh, I'm going to check those events because I've got some mana that I'm going to collect. 
and then I am back into Mount Sis to get some more fatal runes. So I know I'm moving at a super fast pace here, but again, all I'm doing is farming fatal runes for the Elven Ranger. And once I've got enough to essentially run him uh, uh, on a fatal comp, uh, what I'm going to do is complete that first challenge in the challenge series that you're are it's really important that you complete these um, that's basically what we're going to do today is follow the scenarios and complete that first thing in the challenge series okay um, I'm also going to start leveling up the water Garuda and what you're going to see here in a second is that we now completed the Equip Fatal Rune Set Challenge. And that unlocks two challenges, Power Up the Fatal Runes and Equip the Blade Runes. So Blade Runes we get from the Kaber Ruins. So now that I've got a Water Garuda, I kind of glanced over that, so I'm gonna slow it down here and just talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing. Um, I have replaced my Water Fairy with the Water Garuda. Now, he is a healer and a cleanser. And the reason that that's so powerful is that unlike the water fairy who just heals you, the water Garuda also removes a harmful effect. So we haven't talked much about this because we're just kind of you know playing the tutorial, um, but you can see that when we get attacked by monsters, sometimes they uh, put a skull over our head, sometimes they put a, a shield break over our head or a sword break over our head. And basically those are called harmful effects. And harmful effects basically diminish the effectiveness of your monster. They hurt their stats, um, or they deal damage over time to your monster. And the Water Garuda, who's going to be Konamiya when we awaken him, which we're going to talk about awakening pretty soon here, uh, probably in the next video, is we are going to be able to remove some of those effects, which isn't super important this early in the game, but will be later. So basically what I've done is I've taken the healer that you're kind of dealt, and I've replaced him with something that I know is going to be better in the long run. So this team that you're looking at right here is basically going to be the team that we're building for a little while here. Um, and that Water Garuda, is, he's not going to do super well because he's still being skilled up, or leveled up I should say. Um, so you're not going to see lots of benefit from him yet. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the blade runes that I just got and equip them to the Elven Ranger. And I'm going to level up some of the runes that increase his attack. Because again, he's a damage dealer. He's an attack monster. Uh, we really want to get his attack up. So similar to what I just did for the Water Knight, I'm now doing for the, the, the Light Elven Ranger. And uh, yes, we got some attack there. Yes, uh, perfect. So we're just going to level up his attack stats. And then we're going to go into Monster Training 101 and grab what we completed. So our next thing is to power up our Blade Runes and to power up our Fatal Runes. So I'm going to go through and uh, I'm going to power up the Blade Runes that it suggested that I power up uh, for completing this mission. Again, I know I'm talking really fast. When you're doing this, uh, it's going to like say on the screen, like, do this, power up a Blade Rune three times. Um, and so I just did that. My next thing is to acquire three-star energy runes um, from the scenario. Now, what you will notice is that if we go into the scenario... And I'm just collecting everything that I got, except for the energy. Leave the energy in your inbox. Um, we just acquired some Angel Mons. And so I do want to pause for a second and just talk about what an Angel Mon is. Basically, an Angel Mon is like an XP bonus for your monsters. And you want to feed them to monsters of the same element. So I took the Water Angel Mon that I got for completing that challenge. I fed it to my Water Knight to level him up faster. Um, and so now you can see my Water Knight gained like five levels from just one Angel Mon. So those are basically like XP boosters and they're really, really powerful and you acquire them for completing these challenges. So it is important that you, uh, you complete these challenges like we're talking about. So all I'm doing now is I'm just uh, completing this scenario on normal so that I get the bonus runes and it's going to give me six energy runes. Now these magic energy runes are already three star so what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip them to a monster, a support monster that I have which is my water uh, Garuda. So really really useful to get these runes here 
Um, but you can see we completed a couple of challenges. We're going to grab those rewards. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to... Uh... Oh, no. I'm good on power-ups. I'm going to go in and I'm going to go into the inventory and grab those runes that we just got. Now I'm going to equip them to my water Garuda, which is going to be really useful. Um, and I'm going to power them all up to six because they are runes that um, I know are effective for this monster. So we'll talk more about runes and rune substats and the power of runes. But for right now, just know that when you get those energy runes, you want to put them on your healer, which I have Kodamia, and you probably will at this point too. Um, so I'm going to apply them to Kodamia. And I'm just taking them all to level 6 really quick. So I'm just going to blast through that because you've seen me level up runes before. And when we're done, we'll talk about next steps. Okay. So now I need to acquire three-star runes from the scenario. And in the scenario, we've cleared it on normal mode, but now we need to go into hard mode. As you go from normal to hard to hell, there's three levels, so to speak, of each scenario that you can clear. And when you go to higher levels, you get higher grade runes. Runes can be grades one, two, three, four, five, and six star. Um, for the challenge that we're in, we need to acquire runes that are... Uh, at least three star. So I'm not going to make you sit here and bore you with me clearing this scenario. Just know that basically what I'm doing is clearing this scenario at like 4x speed to pick up some three star energy runes. Uh, so sometimes it takes a little while, but the other benefit is that while I'm doing this, I am leveling up uh, my Water Garuda, my Water Magic Knight, and my uh, Light uh, Magical Archer. So I'm grinding to get some new runes because that's what the challenge calls for, but I'm also grinding for experience. And anytime I get unknown scrolls, I summon them, and then I feed them to the Water Magic Knight because I want to get that Water Magic Knight up as much as possible. So, still need a couple of energy runes. So we're just going to keep playing until we get those energy runes. And uh, I also cleared this scenario on hard, which is uh, one of the challenges that you're going to get some experience for. So now that we've done that, I'm going to evolve my Water Hellhound, basically taking him from a two-star monster to a three-star. You can evolve them. Their skills, their, uh, their stats go up. Uh, I'm going to feed him that fire rainbow mon that I got. I'm going to feed him some monsters. And just like that, I now took him from two star to three star. Uh, there's a lot of power in evolving your monsters. You want to take your core monsters that you want to use in the game from whatever their natural state is. We talked about how you summon at a natural state and get them up to six star if they're going to be a core monster that you use. So I just evolved my Hellhound to three star because now he's going to be stronger um, as I continue to get these runes. Okay, so you can see now the Hellhound is actually doing a little bit more damage. Uh, you know, if you were to pause and look closely, or you can just take my word for it, <laughs> he's doing a little more damage. And uh, what that basically means is that I can now clear stuff faster, get more un unknown scrolls, and I'm going to keep leveling up that Water Magic Knight. So right now I'm just clearing the forest on hard, just trying to get some three-star energy runes for this challenge. And once we clear that challenge, we'll kind of move on to the, the next part of this video. So super, super straightforward. I know we're moving fast um, because I don't want this to be. It's a 90 minutes um, that I spent doing this. Um, but I do want to pause here for a second and show you what we just did uh, was we finished that and um, we got really lucky. We just got a wind or a water mystic witch. I'm going to lock her. We'll talk about her in some later videos, but she's really powerful. So again, anytime you get a three-star monster during these tutorials, keep them. Um, now, the next thing that I'm going to show you real quick is that our next challenge is to skill up one of our monsters. Um, and the way you skill up a monster 
is essentially when you see them, you feed them a monster that's the same of either the same or a different element. So we're going to feed the wire water Garuda another water Garuda. And what that's going to do is level up his skill. Now, remember, each monster has skills that they use, you know, uh, the like the, the water magic knight has a first, second, and third skill. When you feed them their own type or their own monster, those skills go up and it makes them more powerful. Sometimes it lets them cool down faster so you can use them more frequently. Um, but it is a really powerful element to this game. And you can either uh, level up a skill by feeding a Devilmon or by feeding a monster of the same or different element, but the same monster. So like I could have a Fire Garuda, a Wind Garuda, um, but as long as I'm feeding them the same monster, their skills will go up. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna feed the Water Garuda this other Water Garuda that I picked up to level up his skill. And then we're going to collect from the challenge uh, another reward because that's the next uh, that's the next step in the monster training 101. So we just powered up the Garuda. We're going to grab our challenge reward, which is some fatal runes. And now I'm going to take those fatal runes that I just got, and I'm going to put them on my water magic knight. Um, because I know that some of those runes are really, really good attack runes. And like I said earlier, um, I want my slot two and six on my uh, Water Magic Knight to be attack. So I'm actually going to remove uh, those three runes that you saw so that I can put in a different energy rune and make sure that slot four and six are attack percentage on the Fatal. But basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the Water Magic Knight right here and I'm putting Fatal... Uh, runes that have attack percentage because those will give me a bigger boost and then I'm also equipping fatal runes to the hellhound uh, which is going to give me another challenge completion uh, and then there is an event going on so let me just grab those event rewards more mana perfect grab that and uh, she wants me to build something from the glory points in the arena but I don't actually have enough uh, glory points, so let's kick out this other arena battle real quick. Um, this isn't going to give me enough glory points, but every time you unlock a new rival in the arena, you should fight them because you're going to get crystals. And like we said, crystals are like the currency that you need in the game. Yes, man is important, but crystals are like the gold currency. Um, so we just finished that arena real quick. Uh, and now we, for our other challenge, we need to equip some blade runes. Uh, to uh, to one of our monsters. And so I'm going to add blade runes to my uh, Fire Hellhound. And that's going to be really useful here. Um, I'm going to power up the runes that I put on the Water Magic Knight because I said I was going to do that and then I forgot to do it with the arena side tracking me. So I'm just upping the attack that, that my Water Magic Knight does. So now I'm I'm back here collecting blade runes. Uh, the blade runes that I need, I'm going to put on the Fire Hellhound, like I said. So, you know, at this point, I could continue to progress in the scenario, but I like to kind of set myself up to never be in a, a situation where in the scenario, I'm like, oh, I can't beat a monster. I'm not strong enough. I want to be really strong so that every time I move forward, it's just a quick blitz through that level. Cool. So it does take a minute. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that my Water Magic Knight isn't crushing it right now, and that's because in this uh, scenario on hard, we don't have the the benefit of an elemental advantage. We're fighting against a lot of wind monsters, and so sometimes they're going to kill the Water Magic Knight. But if you've been grinding and kind of following the path that I've been taking, you you should be pretty good. Um, should be pretty good. So. We've got that going. We needed a little energy. Luckily, we've accumulated a ton from playing. And we're getting some blade runes. Still don't have the ones that I need for the Fire Hellhound. So let's keep going for those.
Oh, and we got super lucky. We got a four star attack rune. So we're going to power that, or a three star attack rune. We're going to power that right up so that the Hellhound gets more attack. Perfect. Oh, it is a four star. I was talking too fast. <laughs> um, and now we need one more blade rune for the six slot. Now, one thing that I kind of glossed over is that whatever level you're on in the scenario, one, two, three, four, five, or six, that's the rune slot that you're going to get. So you have six rune slots and six scenarios plus the boss. Um, whatever scenario level you're playing, that's the rune you're going to pick up. So like I need a slot six blade rune. So I'm going to need to get that from the level six uh, scenario here. So let's see if we get it this time. Oh, and we leveled up to level 10, and we got an HP rune. It's not exactly what I want, but it's a decent rune, so I'm going to use it for now. Um, and that gives me another challenge. And now the challenge wants me to hit uh, level 9 with a 2, 4, and 6 slot rune. So I'm going to level up my Magic Knight to uh, plus 9 on the 2, 4, and 6 slot. And it is going to be a little expensive, but, oh, it didn't count. Uh, maybe it's because one was already level nine. So let's go back and do it for Konamiya, because she's got some good energy runes that we could take up to level nine. Perfect. So now we've got some rainbow mons. I'll talk about why those are important in the next video. Um, but basically, at this point, we have gotten ourselves to level 10. Uh, we have gotten some important stuff done. Uh, we're going to build a crystal mine because Aaliyah wants us to. We're going to expand the island because Aaliyah wants us to. So again, when stuff pops up on the left, we basically just do that. Um, but just to kind of recap what we've done here today, we have... Um, We've completed the first three scenarios, uh, almost all on hard. Uh, we've gotten some stuff from the events, uh, but most importantly, we built up a solid team. Uh, we've got a nice team going for us. So we've got the Water Magic Knight, the Light Archer, the Fire Hellhound, and the Water Garuda. Uh, we've started to scale them up. We've we've played the challenges that have been laid out for us. Um, and yeah, so we've got a good team going, a good baseline setup to continue the game. Uh, and, and in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to start playing with the dungeons and explaining how the dungeons work. So I hope you got lots of value. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, I will be releasing more videos on a regular basis, like I said, at least the first 30 days of play with our goals to be to unlock giants and unlock TOA and, and really just crush this game. So if you're still new and you don't know what that means, it just means we're going to set you up to crush it. And uh, if you're not new and you're just reliving the glory with me, thank you so, so much. Um, if you did get lots of value or there's anything you want me to cover in this, make sure to drop a comment below and I will get you taken care of. Uh, I hope you got lots of value here and, and I will see you next time. Until then, let's keep this gaming bananas.